Well, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Kala Sen! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank what you. a reception. Uh, We're tired you. already. <laughs> no, it was just... Oh, the, you overwhelmed the, him. The Melbourne walk is uh, incredible, the amount of people there is. And uh, the amount of selfies, the amount of uh, uh, signing that yeah. we do is crazy. I'm a bit tired, but it's, uh, it's amazing to see how the support that... Um, <laughs> and my shirt. I have to point out this um, picture here that this girl has painted. How uh, incredible yeah. is that? That's nice. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It, and Good she's job. begging for you. Yeah, look, we're going to get... Hand it forward. Hand uh, it forward to... Uh, bring, it, bring it over here. There we go. We will, we will find ourselves. Bring it up here. See? So that, uh, we I've can got you. I've got you. There you go. <laughs> look at that. She's got I, the pen I, on the back there, yeah. ready for you. I think he's actually going to take it home. I yeah. think you've lost it now. He's going to put it up there. Here we go. Have a look What's at your this. Name? Fan forum. Amy. Amy. Amy? Amy. Amy. A-M-Y. A-M-Y. To Amy. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Carlos. Have a look at that. Oh. Wait. There's more. There's more, guys. Carlos is here. I want to hear a big roar, though, for... Charlotte Clay! There we go. Get comfy, sit down. How are you doing? Hello, lovely to see you again. How are you doing? All good, all good, <laughs> all really good. <laughs> have a breather, have a breather. How is it uh, being back in Melbourne, guys? I mean, it feels amazing, and to see so many people, I mean, every. Yeah, and it's more and more people, so it's amazing to uh, to feel so much uh, so much support. Yeah, it absolutely is. What about you, Carlos? I love it. I came here on Monday, uh, probably the earliest I traveled to a race, uh, not only for um, jet lag reasons, but also just because I love the the vibe of the city, the the atmosphere. I I like spending time here. It's such a shame that it's so far away from Europe, uh, because if not, I think I would come more times uh, than than once a year. But yeah, uh, happy to be here. We love having you here, no doubt about it. For you, terrific memories from, from last year. Last year was absolutely spectacular. Got no one of those for tomorrow? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last year was... Last year was, uh, was incredible, obviously. We, uh, we had pole position, led every laps of the race, uh, won the race with the fastest lap, but... Uh, of course, the target is to do just the same this year, but we also need to be realistic with ourselves. We don't come here in the exact same situation. We are a bit less competitive. Red Bull seems to be very fast in the race. But one thing is sure is that I'll give my 200% to make it happen again, um, and, uh, and we'll see what happens. What would it mean to win here at Albert Park this weekend? Put it into words. Oh, we've lost your mic, mate. Can you no, share? Go again. Sharing One, is two. caring. Sharing is caring. Come on. Aww. We'll sort that out. Hand it over I'm here. crying. Oh, ah, it's Carlos. You're oh, not working. Yeah. Mm. I am the problem. <laughs> We're trying to silence Carlos here. <laughs> I already forgot what's the question. But, uh, what would it mean to win here at Albert Park? I, Charles can tell you. Yeah, but that's why I'm asking you. What would it mean to win um, this weekend? For me, amazing. I mean, it's what I'm trying to do every single week of my life to, to, to try to win. So I guess it would feel uh, as good as it did in Silverstone or even better. So uh, that's, a, that's a plan. But for you coming here as a race winner now, you know, fantastic, obviously. And uh, what would it mean to be able to do it as you did there? I mean, obviously, Australia is a special uh, weekend because of the amount of fans and support that we get you can see know how many ferrari cups there is and, uh, <laughs> and i think to to win here would mean everything to us uh, it's i think one of the races that we have the most support i mean ferrari we 
let's be honest, we have a lot of support everywhere, but in Australia, I think it's one of the, one of the main ones. I think we've got time for a couple of crowd questions yes. if we can. So let's see where the Where's microphone our, is. Our microphone. I think Chris had it there. Chris, now I need and your your name and your question and who you're directing it to, please. Hi, I'm Paris. Um, my question is for Charles. Um, we noticed that a few of the drivers have got their JPEG accounts. We saw you around Melbourne taking your photos. When will we be getting a Charles.jpg account on Instagram? I, I actually have one. But what? <laughs> Whoa! But, but, but don't be too excited, it's private. <laughs> but I, I might put it public at one point, when, when I'm getting good enough. Keep your eyes peeled. But it's only in black and white. I only do pictures in black and white. It's easier. So, uh, yeah. I'll let you know once it's public. Okay. Black and white, just a little bit of red for Ferrari, maybe, maybe, maybe in there. We've got another question. Your name and who you'd like to uh, ask. Um, uh, my name is Monica. Just want to say quickly that I love Carlos. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Charles, my question to you is: um, I just wanted to ask how you feel about your brother also getting to be on track here in Australia today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously extremely happy for Arthur. He, he deserves it. He didn't have the chance that I had in my career to just start when he was young and arrive to where he is without a break because at one point my family had to do a choice whether which one uh, of the two will continue and uh, I was the lucky one. So he had to stop and go again. So I'm extremely happy that he is now, uh, um, I mean, getting to his dream no, and doing what he loves most. But I have to say that it is the most stressful thing ever. I mean, for me, when I'm going in quali, I'm a bit stressed, but actually it's not too bad. Whenever he races, it's a, it's a nightmare uh, for different reasons. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I wish him the best. Uh, I think uh, today the, they've got the first race where it's uh, the top 12 inverted, so I don't know where he will start, but um, hopefully it will be a, a great weekend for him. I spoke to him, uh, I spoke to him on Thursday. I did an interview with him on stage as well with some of the other drivers. And um, I asked him, how much advice do you share with him? Because there's, obviously you've raced this track before. He's never raced it. Have you been imparting some wisdom onto him? Or are you just letting him learn his own way? So most of the time I try to let him go and, and try to be uh, autonomous in this sport. I think it's really important. It's the way my father did it for, for me and it has helped me a lot. Yeah. So I'm trying to do just the same with him. Uh, but on a track like this that he didn't know, obviously we went, uh, I mean, we always see each other, so we spoke about the track and I tried to, to help him in the best way I could um, in order for him to gain time because they only have one free practice session before qualifying, so mm -hmm. it's uh, yeah. a very um, short amount of time to, to, to learn the track. Carlos, uh, similar to you in some ways from a famous racing family, how did you, you go with, with your dad in terms of advice? Well, I, different I, disciplines. It's it's different. Uh, I guess my dad could give me a lot of advice, especially in terms of the attitude and the mentality that you need to have to be, let's say, a, a champion. No, and uh, I'm lucky to have a double world champion by my side since the beginning, and he knew what it takes to to get there. No, even if it's at, at a different discipline, and that gave me overall a, a lot of advice. Nowadays, he travels sometimes to races, but he's more a spectator, a support rather than than an advisor, let's say, but uh, I still ask him questions now and, now and then when I have some doubts about what direction to take or what, um, how to do some things, and he helps me a lot. We may have... He is also, yeah. I feel like you could be on the stage. You're, his voice is louder than mine. <laughs> He's a smooth operator senior. <laughs> do we have time for any more fan questions? Where's our mic gone? Hi, my name's Matteo. Ciao tutti. I'd like to thank, uh, I'd like to say hi, and um, what do you think's your expectation for tomorrow? And I was just, best of luck for both of you guys. So what are your expectations for tomorrow, tomorrow and today? So the question was uh, expectations for, for tomorrow. tomorrow. Our hopes are to win. Our <laughs> uh, real expectations, I think, is to realistically now be the first car behind Red Bull mm -hmm. and if Red Bull put one foot wrong yeah them. you're there <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're there <laughs> so yeah there's there's the hopes obviously we're going to every weekend trying to win we are Ferrari that's the only thing we have in our heads to try and win but 
we know the, our situation. We know Red Bull are one clear step ahead. Even Aston Martin in the race, they are half a step ahead. So we need to do things perfect if we really want to finish in the podium or even target winning right now. Yeah, not much to add. I mean, uh, we'll try and go for the win, but somehow I feel good this weekend. I mean, I always feel good, but uh, this weekend, I, I, I mean, we will, we'll do absolutely everything to win. We know the situation, but uh, yeah, deep inside me, I, I know that it's possible to win, so I'll do everything. Do you guys want to see them win this weekend? Yeah, I think that's a resounding yes. A tip, <laughs> um, in Last time out in... Oh! <laughs> last time out in Saudi. Wasn't the easiest, but ha you've had some time to regroup now. And like you said, you're feeling good today. Feeling good coming into this weekend. What have you and the team been working on uh, in the time in between the two races? Well, for me, uh, honestly, the beginning of the season hasn't been so easy with the yeah. technical failure in... Um, in uh, Bahrain, then the penalty in uh, Jeddah, so we had to uh, make our uh, way up again to, uh, to the front. Um, but uh, yeah, should be a clean weekend here. So um, we've been working a lot, uh, but as always, I will say, obviously, as uh, we said, we are a bit on the back foot, especially in terms of race pace. So, that, so that's where our focus is at the moment, to try and improve our race pace, because in qualifying, we seem to always be quite close to, um, to the guys in front, but then in the race, we, we lose quite a little bit of performance. So uh, we've been uh, focusing on that. And for you, obviously, coming here as often as you have, the, the track, the way it works, it, we've had some changes over the years, but what does Albert Park mean to you? What mentality do you need to bring here to this track? Well, as I said, no, I think this track just gives me a better vibe. I think uh, having done my debut here back in 2015, well, that, that makes me feel a bit old. Um, that's eight years ago. And uh, yeah, it just makes me feel uh, uh, yeah, like to like even more this place. It means a lot to me to be racing here every year. Obviously, it was a shame that we missed it due to COVID a couple of years. But now the track has changed. I think it, the track has gone into the direction of trying to make the racing better, trying to make some more overtaking. So hopefully also for the fans that uh, that is uh, uh, good news, no? because it means the race is, is a bit more exciting and we can overtake each other a bit more and put on a better show. We've got one more question I think we can possibly fit in. Chris has got Just the microphone here. down there. So your name and who you'd like to ask the question to, um. please. Hi, and my name's Chloe, and I was just wondering what your favourite food you've tried this weekend from Australia is. Okay, so Chloe's asked, what is the favourite food that you've tried either this weekend or your time here in Australia? Um, <laughs> maybe some nice pasta at Ligon Street. Yeah, no, there's but um, there's no particular food that I tried. It's just the breakfasts at the hotel are huge. But they're... And, and I love them. I mean, I, normally it takes me 15 minutes to have breakfast. Here I allow myself 45 minutes to, <laughs> to go through my breakfast, through the eggs, the bacon, the ham, the uh, Hollandaise sauce. Then I go uh, smoothie. Then I go uh, uh, pancakes. And, How and heavy are you? <laughs> I'm heavy. It <laughs> might slow you down this weekend. <laughs> this, this weekend I, I... I'm trying to control myself yeah, whenever I come here I, to be as light as possible. Yeah, but when I come to Australia, it's like my little treat that I give myself just because <laughs> I love having breakfast. It's my favorite meal of the day and, and I know that, uh, um, <laughs> that in Australia breakfast is the best. So is that breakfast, is that breakfast and then a little run to... Uh... No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> just, just maybe at lunch I control a bit myself. I'm not hungry at lunch because I've had such a big breakfast that... Uh, why am I telling my food story? Yeah. <laughs> You've really got into this. <laughs> What about you, Shell? before we let you go? What's been your favourite uh, meal or food that you've had since you've been here? I don't know. My, my favourite place is definitely Stoke House yes, in St Kilda. Yes, I've been told about this. I love it. It's, uh, it's amazing. But uh, wherever we go, really, the food is really good. Yeah. So uh, I've, I've, yeah, I've tried many restaurants here, but I am containing myself a bit more than Carlos, <laughs> um, which is a pain, but uh, yeah, that is the way it is. We'd better let them go. Carlos might be hungry still. Please put your hands together for Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc from Ferrari. Thank you both. Good luck this weekend.